What's up guys? So, I'm not riding at the moment, I've just gone into a new app this time, we're in Indie Velo. So, what with the uh, Zwift price increases today, going up 40%, a lot of people are going to be looking at alternative options to run in Zwift, certainly through the summer, um, for which might just be, you know, the odd, the odd usage here and there, it's getting quite expensive now. Um, I've looked at a few alternatives uh, in the past, didn't actually post um, doing any videos on them, but I thought now would be a good time just to look at Indivilo again. Um, so yeah, I'm in the hub. Now you look, you see this is, it does look quite familiar to Zwift. I think it has got some links. Um, one of the guys I think who started it was a Zwift guy. Um, I don't know too, uh, too much about it off the top of my head, so I'm not going to go into what it's all about in depth. I'm just going to show you uh, an overview of it and, and give you my opinion on it. Um, but it is totally free, so it's um yeah there's no risk to you to give it a go so just in the options and um you'll see this has got a lot more um stuff you can sort of mess with under the hood so but it is it's also quite you know it's quite straightforward and intuitive um so i've paired me um the kicker core uh, so it's a smart trainer it also does the cadence and my decathlon heart rate strap is connected as well so that's the devices this is just the options I'll just give you a quick overview uh, audio I've, I've turned the um, music volume down for, for the benefit of this video hopefully it's coming out with speakers in the right, uh, microphone um, yeah so you can adjust five five levels of volume there you got so you've got your your master music UI volume in the menus uh, environment volume and t even tire volume can be adjusted i like i like the road sound so i got that switched up uh, the graphics it, like with zwift you don't get to change anything it just automatically gives you a profile and you, you, your frames per second is dictated by the profile and, and sort of your hardware but on this you can um, you can manually set your resolution um, your screen mode your frame rate um, obviously it's this is just limits, not actually what you'll get. But um, I wonder if I should just set it to higher, see what happens. Uh, it's up to 52 frame rate at the moment. So you've got a frame rate display in the bottom right as well, which is which is another nice little touch, which you can do on Zwift, but you have to sort of hack, do a hack to do it. So a V-Sync enabled, uh, texture quality higher. I can go to ultra, but I'm gonna just leave it on high at the moment. Um, shadow distance and level of detail bias I've left um, but so I'm running an ultra wide screen, so I've left that um, at the uh, 1080 uh, resolution um, because that's the exact resolution of this monitor, I think. We could probably go one up, but we'd probably be pushing my graphics card because it is quite an old uh, PC. So yeah, that's what that's what the graphics settings I'm running. You'll see the frame rate as we do the uh, the race. Obviously, I'm recording this on OBS as well, so that has a bit of a hit on the computer. You've got UI settings, you can so many options here. Um, you'll see you've got you can you can change what uh, how the camera moves, whether it shows the HUD at all, um, real world data on the screen, uh, labels, the mini map position, the route profile, nearest players, uh, you can change the the marker colour. The transparency this is this is all on the uh, the UI so the um, user interface settings um, yeah loads to play with that I'm gonna leave it all as it is it's most of most of the things are um, good yes yeah, so there's your FPS counter you can have that on or off so you see that in the bottom right um, what else have we got trainer settings we're not gonna mess with anything let's just have a look at it uh, workout resistance mode, erg mode. So we've got erg mode on. Auto release erg mode. Oh god, this is new. Avoid spiral of doom if workout gets too hard. So that's a nice touch. Rift doesn't have that. I have been in spiral of doom before. If you know what it is, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave that as is. And what else do we want to look at in here? Um, So we'll leave that for options. Profile, you can see loads of stuff again. You can see your ranking history, training zones, 
change your avatar up. There we go. Um, I'm not going to do much on this. All right. This is the one thing that it is a bit basic compared to Zwift with the um, the jerseys at the moment. Um, but yeah, that is, that is that is one part of it which I don't really like. Um, racing license. So this is, you know, it's totally legit. If you're going to actually, it's got a lot of levels of. Um, of a, a yeah, checking on, on actual people rather than sort of just letting everyone race. But what we're doing on it, the, the, the basic entry, um, basic races it's got on here, you're racing against um, bots anyway. So it's yeah, because there's just not as many people on this platform. So they kind of fill it up with bots, which is probably the major drawback of it. Um, yeah, so yeah, as you ride a profile, you can easily change it from the app, your weight and your FTP and everything like that. Um, I'm kind of guessing the FTP at the moment because I haven't done the test in ages. It, what, it has gone down from January though. And you'll see. I did, do a, I did actually do a race on this before. And I, and I recorded it. But I didn't publish the video. Because I was so annoyed. Because I thought I was racing against real riders. So it's quite embarrassing. Um, because I thought I'd won a race. And um, I just basically beat a load of robots that weren't even racing sort of naturally. So it was just... I just didn't didn't publish it, but you see this rank in history. I don't oh no, it's not there. There's all the different things it measures. Uh, where was it? That race history. Did do a race on this before. Yeah, I've done one, I've done two. Yeah, and I kicked out a lot of power. Um, really went for it, and I won the race. But um, oh yeah, because I've done the um. I started off, I done a scratch race, and I was no elimination race, and I went out on the first lap. So I turned at this crit race, and I won. Or well, I thought I won, but really I just beat a load of. I just won a video game, basically. Um, yeah, none of these riders are real. These were just bots. So yeah, it kind of took the shine off it for me because. I thought I was racing real riders, but I mean, if you go into it and you know you're race, you're, you're in a game and you're just racing against um, artificial intelligence, then you know that's what it is. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, that's that's a good look at the um, the outside bits and bobs. Um, you can see we've got similar sort of stuff to Zwift. We've got ride. Even the maps has got that same sort of um, look to them. Um, you can just go out and do a ride on a different route. You can sort those, you can have a look at the profile. So you've got loads of different uh, options there. Obviously, you're not going to have the same sort of map. You've not got the same size map as with different maps, but you've got some different routes. We've even got pacer groups on this now. So you can just select a pacer group based on your power and join that. I've not tried that before. Training, again, you've got Light Zwift, very, very similar. You've got loads of different training um, sessions on here. I've not tried any of these but I've no doubt you can easily put your own one in or find something which is suitable you can sort them out but uh, yeah so you've got individual workouts custom workouts duration loads of, got loads of stuff there so I'm sure that's going to be more than adequate uh, events so here we go we've got the competitive races unranked events group rides group workouts we'll come back to that last one is challenges again these are like progress in maze challenges so you've got sprinters climb and total distance and you can sort this global country team following FEMA so not involved in any of that but that's just that's just to show you what's there um, I don't know what the difference is between unranked events and competitive races are because I, I think they're all full of bots so really don't know what it is but we're gonna have a little look at it. Um, I think what I might do first is oh, this points race would be fun, wouldn't it? I think you can just we'll see what's what. Um, we're not doing a hill climb, blimey. Forty laps on the forest velodrome points race. That'd be a good training session. Come on, let's have a look at this. Right. So it looks like there's sort of ten, ten sprints, is it? Sign up to get an in-game reminder before the start. Okay, so let's sign up. Um, 20 kilometers. All riders start together and score points at each 
location they pass. The person with the most points in the race is the winner. Points. Right. Okay. Every four laps. Right, that looks fun, doesn't it? Okay, so that, that is. We've got, we're in that. And let's just try on these pacer groups as a warm up then. Let's just try and do the uh, ADM mode. That's pace. We don't need the pan the power meter because we've got a smart train there, do we? Not finding anything anyway, so let's just see if it works like this. There we go, downloading, right, we're going in. Let's turn the mic around. Make some windows. Fan on. Clipped in. Oh, we're not pedaling right here. Alright, this don't seem to be working, does it? Right, so what's going on here? Oh yeah, here we go. It's been dropped. Should catch him up, shouldn't I? If I do an hundred and whatever watts. There we go. And why have I got no UI? No graphics on here at all. So you can see it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Compared to Zwift. There's not as much going on in the uh, in the background, but this is definitely not Zwift. This is more of a developmental, ex sort of experimental platform. Uh, let's see if we need. Let's see. If, ah, there we go. H. Press H. We've got the heads-up display on. So now I can see. Look at all this stuff that you don't get in Zwift. Let's put some music on. Get warmed up. Uh, what do we want? On that one, I think. This is copyright free, hopefully. So what we've got, look at the stuff we've got on here. Without the, um, because obviously I pay extra for the source for Zwift overlays, because Zwift heads up displays crap. But this one, look at this, we've got, we've got heart rate power, cadence, top dead centre. We've got real world sort of, or virtual world data in terms of the wind. So we can see it's behind us, slight, slight towel crosswind. We've got a draft meter built in. Doesn't tell us the percentage, but uh, we can see how much draft we're in. We can see how much of the route we've done, or the course that we're in. We've got the list of riders. And speeds, which is all we need to know, and then we've got the, uh, the route profile and distance markers on the bottom, and then we can see also the bottom we've got the FPS counter, uh, and I think my monitor maximum is 75 hertz. So, and yeah, I'm hitting over 60 frames per second. Um, so I could probably update, update, probably change the graphic settings to go higher if I wanted to. I want to about 60 frames per second. Um, and we, bottom right, we've got the uh, the tracking of your powers, power heart rate. All right, starting shortly. So we're going to join it. Let's see what happens. Let's join this. So saving my ride. Kick us out and in again. Oh. No idea what's going to happen here. I do think the function keys are pretty similar though to Zwift. Um, so I'm going to try the views. Uh, 
I normally go for third person view, so yeah, here we go. Third person view. Sorry, it's first person view. First person shooter perspective. Let's see if it goes to the side. Yeah, slow painting there. We've got the side view. We've got the rear and above view. Uh, rear close view. Uh, see if six is head on. Yep, so the buttons are the same. Helicopter view. Whoa. Bird's eye view. There we go. That's good for the sprint, isn't it? Bird's eye view number nine. Let's go three again. Entrance with respect to smaller pens. Smaller pens are based on everyone's estimated ability in a points race in this course. You've been placing pen two or seven, right? I don't even understand that. But uh, let's put it on one, right? I'm in here. Looks like I've got 30 seconds to the off. Uh, got 40 laps. Let's have a fan on this. It's probably, probably going to go mad, don't I? Oh, what do I want? Some gears. Uh, 40 laps, 10 sprints. <laughs> Try and do the, do the old shoes up. Uh, first is after four laps. I guess there's 20. Yeah, oh, here we go. Let's get up to speed, eh? Okay, so, 50. 25, so we've got 25 riders. I don't think there's a very, I think this is just all bots because you can start these races pretty much any time. 20th or 25. What's going to happen? Am I going to get smashed here? They're going pretty fast, aren't they? I don't like this. A bit fast, isn't it? All right, first person view. Velodrome, look at that. Running lovely. 54 frames a second. Looks okay. Um, the bikes look a bit second hand, don't they? I mean, I, I mean I'm a rim brake fan, but these bikes look like, I don't know, just look a bit crap. Look like they're running 21s on them. Uh, some of the kits actually look a lot better than when I tried it last time. It seems like I've got some proper official kits in it. This one in front looks alright. Got this, uh, a couple of other kits look okay. Got a haircut, so look, look at that. Crikey. I think they're going to sprint. This is what's going on here. sprints I've got to do. Ten. Christ. Where's my heart rate on this screen? Oh, there it is. High.
God, I'm glad. And I still do track riding all the time. Christ. It says I'm in a lot of draft though, so. Oh, there we go, maximum draft. Try and sit in now. Two and a half laps, go to sprint again. I don't like this crap. Try a different one. But his computer is trying to drop me. that one what have I signed up for it oh my god So remember, this is totally free Swift alternative. Connects fine, runs fine, whatever your resolution, equipment. They say, I'm only running a fourth gen. A Xeon processor with a GTX 1650, less than 150 quid used. Got an LG ultra wide 28 inch, I think it is. Screen 29 inch, uh, really good for this sort of, when you're close to your, your screen, but you want to lie a lot on the, a lot on your field of view. So we're quarter way through. I don't know what position, have I got position? I'm eight from 25. Uh, it's good because you can, little lap markers on the bottom, really intuitive. Tell me I'm gonna have to sprint again now, Christ. I've got a nasty suspicion that these computer riders aren't gonna tire out like I am. Moved up to fifth though. So, I don't know about you, but obviously it's a lot less polished than Zwift. But, 
look how good the UI is. Everything on screen just works. Even got distance to the guy up the road there. Everything that you kind of have to do modifications to get on Zwift or add-ons, this has got in it. Still clear, but we're getting caught really quickly. One lap, and we hold them off. He might be ready. Gear change. Okay. So, I see cooked off the front, but cooked. One thing I would like is normalised power on display. Okay. Right, let's get started in there. Move this up to third in the points. Six to go. I feel like I've uh, done too much so far, though, even though I can't see my uh, normal waist. Feels quite a lot. So here's a question, is there a race, is there a place for what races on Zwift? I mean we're told their price has gone up because they've introduced things like robo paces. I mean Christ's sake. Enjoy mine any time on this for free. So I think with the group graph the front, I didn't really realise. I need to start marking this Hugo, don't I? I don't know where this Simon is. Never listen to the noise, I just wanted to move. Yeah, I put it on the sword, it's behind me. 
thing about that speed display is you know what's going to happen to you without looking behind. Obviously, if there's a speed difference, you need to equalize it. Five sprints to go then. They're winding it up now. get the last gear I need to adjust my gears I said I'm getting so the computers do get tired Coming in hot though. Four spins to go. Get my TSS that calories. Be good to see normalised. I wonder if I can change that. So I'm within five points of the lead now. So just try and stay up there, move up one to go. Next time I go across the line, a little bit of recovery here. to go. I would like a bell. It's thing I would like. actually need to go full power there to get that so save a little bit So 
we're in the lead jointly now. Oh. position 18 I'll do is I'll just go for points and uh, not eight and nine and then I'll go for peak power on ten. Where are we now? Oh one more to go. Start moving up again. Oh. Timed, look at that. Bosh. Nine point lead now. Two more to go. Getting a knack of this. recovery lap if you can call it that and this group in front have dropped Seated sprint this time. That's it. Well, looks like an unassailable lead.
free to go. It's a, it's a little event, it's definitely a good workout, isn't it? I mean, it's nothing else. This is more fun than intervals. It's more engaging. And there's nothing like this on Zwift even. I know of. God, they come around quick, don't they, these sprints? Two to go, is that? We do the over the last lap. Yeah. Biggest gear, I'm gonna have to go now. Oh, let's get I got them. Come on. There we go. There we go. Well. That was good. That was good. Oh, really, I think quite high though. But, oh. So I'll do a, do till 30 minutes, cooling down. So let me know what you think of uh, Indy Velo, free Zwift alternative, saving you £17.99 a month. <laughs> as I say, it's not as a, perhaps not as pretty, um, but it definitely is engaging. Um, and definitely, you're not having to put up with some of the things you have to put up with in Zwift. Uh, obviously, you've not got that social element, um, which is Zwift. That's their trump card. They've got such a market share, they've got so many riders on there. Um, and the other, the other applications having to. Uh, Sort of fill their worlds with bots. There we go. So it's telling us about our race ranking bits and bobs, whatever that means. We'll click return. There we go. Can we exit? No, that's that. So I think I've uh, synced this, I think I've linked it to Zwift. So, see if that works or not. Interestingly, I sticked right and it went to the outside. Now I click left and it's moving to the inside, so I've got some level of steering built in, I don't know. Or was it just turning me off? Click right again, here we go, clearly enough. 
see if he leaves the velodrome on this lap or if it's just positioning. No, it's just steering because now let's exit. Now we've got the steering option. So we've got some kind of steering function built in as well. Cool. I don't remember, I've not got the uh, resolution on this up to maximum either. There we have it. It's a uh, Indy Velo, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Yeah, thanks for watching that. Uh, catch up with you maybe on a uh, Zwift or Indy Velo race uh, next week. Cheers.